what is up it's melanie and as you can tell by the change in scenery i am back home in washington in my homeroom and the first thing i always want to do when i return home from a long school year is clean my room and i'm not just talking about like putting stuff away i'm talking about a deep clean so i'm bringing you guys with me to sort through everything this is like a fresh start a fresh summer start and i just want my room to be clean so thank you guys for joining me because this might be a long process but let's get straight into the cleaning all right so here's a little overview of my room right now this is the current state that she is in i know it's not bad by any means i'm pretty tidy most of the time because it'll drive me crazy and i will not sleep until stuff is like semi relatively put away but i want to deep clean because when you look into these drawers like, trust me. They are hiding all of the mess. Hopefully, I can get most of this done today. But then again, I have a lot of drawers in here. I also want to go through my closet. Which, once again, same thing. Like, she's organized. Very organized. But I have oh my God. too much clothes for this closet to hold. So, I need to sort through stuff. You know, get the Poshmark up and running again. So, that's what we are starting today. Okay, I have no rhyme or rhythm for the order I'm going in. But I'm going to start with this whole thing over here. The 9 cube. It used to not have drawers in all of the things. I think some of them were empty and they kind of had more like decorations but then as time went on i collected more things bought more drawers and now all of the drawers just have a ton of stuff like thrown in there because like it looks clean right this is a bit insane but i had a really big splenda addiction where i would like have it in my wallet and everywhere and this is like half of the collection that was sitting in that drawer Three pepper sprays and a taser. It's my safety era. And the best thing is you always find gift cards everywhere when you clean. Okay, I know this might not look a lot better, but I swear it is better. I know where everything is now, which is helpful. Every time I clean, this always happens. I have like 18 piles and only I know what each pile means. That's okay. It always gets messier before it gets cleaner and I have to remind myself that. One of my favorite organization, like it's not really a hack, but I love just using baggies. Like this is the dust bag and I just like use it to hold jewelry. I don't know. I don't want to throw this away. I feel like it's useful, so I use it. We are making some progress. I say that, but we're on the second out of nine boxes. But the rest of them are closed. So I'm hoping it'll go by a little bit quicker. <laughs> good amount done and as i said the rest of these bins are closed so i'm just gonna sort through them here with you too much stuff oh my goodness i think i have like a cleaning maximum though like if i do it for too long i get a little bit lazy i just end up keeping everything these short amazon love them lululemon aligned leggings definitely a keep i'm gonna donate this i have a bunch of these amazon workout tank top they're honestly all really good and still in good condition so i think most most of these I will keep keep I think I'm gonna donate this one keep I'll get rid of that I'm also gonna donate that one sell this one okay, I'm gonna go through the rest of my bin I have a lot of t-shirts tank tops and then like undergarments in here <laughs> It is the next day and we are just continuing where we left off with more cleaning Of course, we gotta energize with some coffee first. I basically finished cleaning this entire thing last night Dusted over here dusted this but I need to go through that drawer right now That one's a pretty big mess and then all that I have left is all of these drawers in my desk Which may seem small, but I have so much stuff in there and then the big one which is the closet Which I'm a little bit nervous for because every time 
I think I'm cleaning out my closet, I end up just like stressing myself out about how much clothes I have and I don't get rid of nearly as much as I think I'm going to. I swear, I need like a quota or something to make this like efficient, but that's not gonna happen. Let's be realistic here. So let's just get on cleaning my little desk drawer for now. So deceiving, like it looks so cute and little do you know, I have so much just stuff in here. Ooh, and then I need to set up my frame. I am so excited for this. Hi friends, so I am currently in the parking lot of the thrift store. I am looking for this cute picture frame. I took a video of it and then I forgot to pick it up, which was so silly of me. But you know, I like went and did all my like clothes shopping and I was like, I'll just grab it on the way out because I don't want to hold a picture frame. And then I forgot it. So it's like a week later. I'm hoping it's still here. Fingers crossed it is. <laughs> Oh my gosh, not proud, but this somehow did turn into a candy jar. That was like a cute little hobby, not hobby, like habit of mine that started in college. I'm not even mad about it. What's your guys' ideal cleaning music? This always happens, but I got onto a really good random radio station on Spotify and I was like vibing with it yesterday. But I don't know how to find it again. I have no clue what I was listening to. This is what we're going with. Okay, so it looks like this is accessories or something. I don't know. Oh, nice. Another clip. So dusty. You can tell I don't wear them. It's my mask drawer. This is kind of cute, right? Okay, what do you guys think? Keep the black ones or these tortoise shell ones? I'm leaning towards black. I hope you guys agree with me. All right, so I finished with the bottom drawer. That was actually pretty quick. I think I've learned that, like, I don't know why it took me this long to learn this. A lot of my clothes in those drawers earlier that I cleaned out, I just shoved them in. And I would do that with, like, packing and stuff, too. Like, when I packed up from school, I literally just shoved all my clothes in a bag. And it saves so much space to actually fold things. Like... Who would have known? Who would have known? Not me, I guess. Okay, so this is like my little accessories drawer now. It looks a lot better. I've gotten rid of a couple things. I have some hats in here. I have some winter stuff that I need to put away. Other stuff that I'm gonna donate or get rid of. Move on to the, the candy drawer, I guess. <laughs> All right, so it turns out this was like a little bit of a photo sticker memory drawer. So I'm just gonna keep it to that. I'm gonna figure out something with this candy here. Can you believe I have this many stickers? It's kind of insane. And then I have all my little scrapbooks. This is so funny. I cut these out from like a glow recipe PR box because I thought they were really cute. And then I might wanna like scrapbook with them, which is funny because I've never scrapbooked before. Random little pins. I'm gonna put all these bits and bobs in the last all right, this is the finished drawer. I did keep a couple snacks, but it looks so much better. I did, in fact, make myself a candy jar. I don't know where it's gonna go yet, but I'm putting it here for now. So we are now onto the desk. This side basically has just like a bunch of makeup that I need to sort through because your girl honestly doesn't wear that makeup. I don't need that much. Over here, it's a mix of stuff. I have a lot of stationery. And then down further, I have more like tech stuff. Oh my gosh. When you can't open a drawer, you know it's bad. So we're gonna get straight into dissecting these. is quite a bit later now. I have quite literally been cleaning all day, which is kind of rewarding. Low-key, it's a little bit not because a lot of the stuff I'm cleaning was in drawers. So my room literally looks the same, even though I've been doing this for like five plus hours. But never mind that. I'm still glad that I'm doing this. I finished cleaning the entire desk a little while ago. I took a long break because I ended up getting distracted. This always happens when I clean. I'm supposed to be cleaning one thing. I go put something away somewhere else. 
else and I realized mess over there So I ended up cleaning my entire bathroom, which was good It really needed to be reorganized, but this is what all my drawers are looking like so much better now on the left side of my desk is like more makeup stuff this is kind of like lotiony stuff this is more face products lip products hair clips and ties this top one is like the most accessible so i put things that i use most frequently and then this one below i have more lippies more makeup in general that i don't wear quite as much but i still want it in a reaching distance this is the last makeup drawer i swear it's more face products eyeshadow palette down here i have little hair ties and scrunchies and clips and whatnot and then at this bottom one i have a lot of letters from you guys back when i had a po box and then this just has like i don't know boarding passes and stuff i don't really know i have that heading over to the other side top drawer essentially looks exactly the same but that one wasn't ever too bad this one has bibles and then like journals that i use most frequently this one has more stationary stuff but then it also has like medicine cough drops tums gum and then my bottom electronic stuff I feel a lot better about this one has mostly cameras and then this last one is just like kind of other miscellaneous electronic stuff i feel a lot better about that because now i know where everything is which is really really nice honestly i wanted to finish my room today but i can definitely feel the cleaning haze coming on so i think i'm gonna save my closet for tomorrow but honestly that is the last part so we're almost there it is finally the day. You're gonna tackle this. It is overflowing. I've worn sweatpants for the past like three days straight. Maybe that's just because I'm home from college, but I think it's also because I don't know how to dress here. So let's go through everything. Okay, so do I have a process for this? Not really. Okay, new angle. So I've decided we are gonna start with the bottom stuff because everything on the bottom is pretty much stuff I don't wear quite as much. So I figured it would be easier to get rid of these things. First off, I have these bins. You can't even see them, but they're just on the floor underneath all of this stuff. Basically workout clothes. I don't really work out that much anymore, so I definitely don't need this much workout clothes. Never played soccer, but I actually really like these. Keep. I don't need. No. Gymshark long sleeve. I'm thinking I have a couple of these. I have that one in black. I have this one. Gray. They have like a little cutout in the back. How many do I have? Oh, maybe I just have two. This one? Is this Gymshark? I think I should only keep one. Uh, maybe I'll keep this black one. I'll get rid of this. Keeping. I will be getting rid of this. Why is everything inside out? I'll keep this one. Would I wear this? Would I wear this? Would I? Would I wear this? Maybe if I was going on a run, but the thing is, I don't go on run. No. Guys, it is like 9 a.m. right now, which I know isn't even that early, but I was up at like 7 for my summer school, and today it's supposed to hit 86 in Washington, which is like pretty dang hot, and like my house doesn't have AC or anything, so I'm kind of worried, but I'm trying to get most of my filming in before like the peak heat of the day, or else I think I might like pass out. I'm not like that great with hot temperatures. Okay, surprise, surprise, we got another bin. Honestly, these Nike shorts are like so comfy. Remind me of middle school track, so I'm just gonna get rid of those. Cute. I don't really wear it. Really comfy. I don't really wear like acidy wash stuff that much. Okay, this skirt I think is gonna be a keep. These shorts, unfortunately, they're so tiny. Like I swear a nine-year-old could fit them. Keeping these. I'll keep these. This is gonna be a get rid of. Yeah, more shorts. Maybe I'll get rid of. Oh, biker shorts. Perfect. I like. <laughs> is quite a bit later. I got rid of a lot of stuff. My closet looks like so much emptier now. Hopefully you can tell a difference. Maybe you can't. I don't know. This is what my closet's looking like now. It feels much more organized. I'm very, very, very happy about that. And this is all of the clothes that I am getting rid of. So a lot of it will be up on Poshmark soon. So you should go ahead and check that out. I'm gonna get all of this stuff bagged up and out of my room and then it will be pretty much tidy. I thought this day would never come. It's now a couple more days later and all I have left to do with my room is like wipe down a couple things and do the last final cleaning. So let's get to it. Cleaning this mirror is always the final touch and actually my favorite part of cleaning my room. Bye. 
finally cleaning and decluttering my room and I'm so happy with it. It just feels so much better to know where everything is. I felt like a lot of it was just in drawers. Just knowing that in my head makes me feel so much better. Hopefully this video inspired you to do a little summer cleaning as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more room videos, let me know. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.